Hello, welcome back to the channel. And today, we're having a Formbridge beer. Way back a year ago. Hello, welcome back to the channel. And today, we're having a Formbridge Lord Marples and it's Modern Monday because Formbridge was basically founded in 2005. The founders, uh, Jim Harrison and Simon Webster, uh, recruited two young brewers to brew on a 10 barrel kit in the grand, well, the grounds of Formbridge Hall, Derbyshire. One of them was Martin Dickey, and the other one was Stefano Cossi. Now, Martin Dickey, you might know him from Brew Dog. Yep. Uh, the first beer they brewed was Lord Marples, which is this classic bitter. Um, and then they followed that by Jaipur, which I think is a really good beer. Um, a lot of people say it's, it's not as good as it was. Probably true. But I still think it's a good beer and it's better today than the Brew Dog uh, Punk today as well in comparison i think it's better um 2009 a new brewery was built in bakewell and we've got a tap room bar and pizza kitchen from 2019 uh, the beers you've got ipa you've got pails lagers browns wits stouts and you can find them at formbridgebrewery.co.uk so i've got the first beer to brewed not the very first beer you know the style the name the, the, the recipe I don't think it's changed. Um, the Lord Marples, and this is coming in at 4% classic bitter. Great that I'm getting to try uh, a bitter from them. Um, like, I just, I love bitter. I love a proper English bitter. I just really do. And this is going to be a classic one. Let's see what it's like. So let's get in the glass. Let's see what it looks like. Let's get the aroma and let's get the taste. So it's pouring quite a nice gold colour. Now, what is worrying me there is <laughs> I can hear carbonation. So I'm hoping by the time I've poured it, it's not heavily carbonated because that would, yeah, that put me off, if I'm honest. Um, bought this bottle from Booth's. So there we go. Looks great in the glass, actually. It's not the bubbles off the side. That's a bit of routine now for me, isn't it? So, there you go it's gold it really is it's not quite you know mahogany it's got like red hues in it as well but more to me gold light amber with a nice white frothy a few large bubbles in there head forming what it does it looks like a bitter carbonation it was it sounded fizzy when it's coming out of the bottle but to be fair really light carbonation which is great because that's what I want. That's what I really do want in the bitter. <laughs> Pardon me. 4% Thornbridge, Lord, Mar Lord Marples. I think I didn't say maples, but I did. Aroma. Well, it's just malty. Quite a dull aroma, if I'm honest. It's not in your face malty. Nothing. Really there on the hop side, which you wouldn't expect anyway. You might get a slight floral note from there, but that's about it. So it doesn't malt forward. It's not like, it's not the, it's not the best aroma I've had from a, a bitter, but it's okay. That head's slightly dissipating now, isn't it? Just slightly. Yeah, it's got, it's, 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 it's got the breadiness, you know, it's got the biscuit going on there. It's about the right temperatures as well. Okay, let's try it. Taste. Cheers. Okay. Um, uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's not the best best bitter I've had. It's not the the worst best bitter I've had. You know, it, it, it's okay. Um, it's uh, it's sat in the middle, really. Um, I think it'd be much better on cask. Really do. Um, Slightly thin, so a little bit watery. Am I being a bit harsh there? No, it's not watery, it's just thin. It's thin. The taste isn't long-lasting for me. It goes pretty quick. 
there's a lot of carbonation locked up in the beer. So when you when you put it in the mouth, it becomes fizzy. And that does put me off slightly. And that's taken away what I think would be some of them really nice malt flavours because the malt flavours in the beer feel quite muted. That's why I think it'd be so much better on cask. Some beers, um, you know, I shouldn't say this, I suppose, but some beers shouldn't make it in a tub of bottle and it does best off left being a real ale cask beer. Um, but everything's muted. Every little note of that is muted. The bitterness is okay. That's quite good. That's balanced. But the notes, the malt notes are just muted and they're just bobbing along. There's nothing, nothing's like shouting, nothing's jumping out and you can pick it up in like an individual. You're just getting a little blend of all. So it's an okay beer. It's a, it's an okay bitter. Um, if I've if I seen it on cask, I'd definitely go to it. Put it that way, so it's not a bad drink. Because I've seen it on cask, I'd definitely go to it because I'd want to try it on cask. I just think it'd give more on cask. It's one of them beers that I think would give a lot more on cask. Um, yeah, it's just not up there with some... I've had some really good bitters. Um, I've had um, Lord's Brewing, their weekend driver. That's got all the, the right notes, and it's got the spikiness. It's got everything you want. It's got, it keeps you interested. The Bushy's best bit, the bitter really good um winkles bitters fantastic beers um th there's just other examples out there that i prefer so that's all I'm, I'm just i'm just waffling now because i'm i'm trying to you know pull it back a bit but it's an okay beer it gets a two beers i'm not picking up on any caramel notes no toffee nothing nothing at all let me read the bottle it's got a slight i don't know if i like, like an orange Citrus note then. Let's see what it says. Um, Lord Marples was the first ever Formbridge beer brewed in 2005 and named after Mr Marples, an aspiring former owner of Formbridge Hall. It pours an, an attractive mahogany, yeah I agree with that, bringing forth flavours of honey and caramel. I don't agree with that. A light bitterness, yes, in the finish to keep it balanced. Uh, brewed by Formbridge, Riverside Brewery, Bakewell, and it just nothing else on there, 4% beer. Like I say, I got this from um, Booths, Formbridge. I definitely seek it out on, tap, on cask. I don't think i will bother buying it in the bottle again because it doesn't interest me enough in the bottle, but I'd seek it out on cask. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, and I'll see you on the next one. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating